What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose. You are awesome, but today we're talking about a brand new free-to-play game called Revan that's currently being developed by Project Ambitious. Revan is a highly customizable third-person shooter MOBA with elements of base defense. I contacted the lead developer, Silas Talley, to find out more about the game. It will be gameplay from his stream that you see in the background. Revan at its base is a third-person MOBA, complete with lanes, minions, towers, and economy, everything you would expect. However, the ability to aim down sights, fully customize your character, and build your own Nexus defenses sets this one apart. Instead of having various classes and heroes to choose from, you decide your own fate by picking your abilities at the start of the game and deciding what weapons you want to use. The player has full control over how they play the game. Player customization is one of the main pillars of Revan. Being able to customize your appearance, your abilities, everything about your character, we want it to feel personal, we want it to feel like this was you. This is something that you created and this is how you want to express yourself in our third person MOBA shooter. Revan has no character classes or champions. Instead, the loadout system allows players to equip any three abilities that they would like, and they're able to craft those from a set of six abilities that they select before the match. This gives you three abilities that are currently equipped, and another three abilities that you could choose between to adapt to whatever the enemy is using as the match progresses. Players can create multiple loadouts, essentially these would be a way to create pre-built character classes for yourself, uh, character classes essentially that you have customized and made your own, and then you can choose one of those when you go into a match if you know you need to play a tank role or a DPS role or if you're going to be crowd controlled. Depending on what your team needs, you would say, okay, this is my loadout for that. Players can carry any two weapons and switch between them at any time. Obviously, there is an animation that plays when you put your pistol into its holster on your hip and you grab a sniper rifle off your back, but you are able to use any two weapons and swap between them freely. Another interesting feature is the ability to build your defenses around your nexus. Walls, turrets, traps, all sorts of nasty surprises for your opponents. Building is another mechanic in Revan that makes us different from other MOBAs, and it's really at the core of what the game is. Players can deploy a drone to build different objects to create a fort around their nexus, and this includes everything like walls, floors, ramps, turrets, buff panels, healing objects, and just all of these different structures that you can build to make your nexus really hard to attack. While it may seem odd to not choose a class for a MOBA, you can still make yourself into a tank, DPS, healer, or a hybrid by controlling your stats. There are a ton of different stats in Revan for your character. You have your health, you have your shields, you have energy, which is like mana, you have armor, armor piercing, move speed, weapon damage, rate of fire, reload speeds, cooldown reductions, um, and more. And we are also adding more stats in the future. As part of our next milestone, we are going to be adding bonus ability damage, ability damage resistance, and ability damage penetration. So we're going to be working on building up more stats as production of Revan continues, but right now we also have a pretty vibrant meta with a wide range of stats and mechanics to build your loadout around. Not everything about Revan will be unfamiliar. As I said before, there are still lanes to clear and towers to destroy. Revan has towers and we are going to be adding super minions, similar to a lot of other MOBAs. So the towers will protect your nexus, you have to destroy them to make the nexus vulnerable. There will be super minions that you can get added to your team by completing certain objectives. That is something that we are currently working on for the next milestone or two. So players haven't seen the super minions yet, but you heard it here first, we are working on those. Also, as with most MOBAs, Revan is an economy game. Gathering resources for yourself and your team is what wins the game. The in-game economy in Revan is metal. It's this resource that you get from killing minions and capturing terminals, and then you use it to buy abilities, items, and build forts. We're actually exploring a separate resource system where you'll be able to use a different resource for forts, and that'll be something that we're exploring in our next milestone to see if we can solve some current balance issues and improve the overall team play. The resource system in Revan revolves around terminals. So terminals are points around the map that you can capture to increase your team's resource income. You can also contest and destroy enemy terminals to disrupt their income. 
Terminals are generally protected by minions in the jungle, so you're going to have to clear out a camp and then capture the terminal. And this sort of creates an interesting dynamic where the jungler has to clear camps and then hold a position for about 7 seconds to secure that extra resource income for his team. And that creates moments where an enemy jungler can come in and contest it and maybe get the camp for free uh, if you are killed or if you leave before capturing it. Revan is planned to be a free-to-play game. Revan is going to be free-to-play and we'll have two currencies, credits and shards. Credits are earned by completing daily challenges, playing matches, and things like that, uh, and those can be used to unlock new abilities for your character. Shards, on the other hand, are the premium currency, and they will be available for purchase with real money. Shards will be able to be used to unlock abilities, just like credits, uh, and you can also use shards to unlock various cosmetics and skins. Project Ambitious is a small team of professionals that was founded in November of 2016. Development of Revan began in June of 2017. The game is currently being funded via an Indiegogo campaign. While the company may be small, they have been able to reach out for assistance from a variety of sources. Ambitious Games is a team of about 10 developers. There are 5 core developers and artists, and then a handful of supporting team members. We are also partnered with some other studios and with startup companies like Radical Motion Capture that have been helping us with some of the technology that we don't have in-house. Radical Motion Capture is a company that is basically building cloud-based, AI-driven animation motion capture software. So we are able to record um, an actor doing something using regular cameras and then we can send that to Radical, they will process the footage and then they give us um, a motion capture file, an animation file that we can use to put that movement, that action into the game, into Revan. This sort of technology is incredibly useful to us because it's fast and quite affordable and it's also uh, has really good results so we're really excited to be working with them. Uh, we've been working with Radical for I think over two years at this point. Um, we've been alpha testing and beta testing all of their technology and providing them with a lot of feedback and they've been providing us with this amazing technology uh, and we're just excited to be working with them moving forward. Thanks to a very generous donation from our tech partners over at Friday Gaming Assistant, our dedicated servers are actually fully funded for quite a long period of time, so all of the money that we're raising and, and investing into the project is actually going straight towards the developers so that we have the time and the manpower, the team members, to get all of our tasks done and make Revan uh, rather than having to worry about paying for servers. So we're really, really thankful to their donation and their support because we've been working with them for a few months and they're just really great people. As with most games I cover, Revan will be planned for PC first with possible ports to consoles, Mac, and Linux later. Revan is coming to PC first. And once we've established a thriving community on the PC platform, we do want to bring it to consoles uh, and Mac and Linux in as many markets as we can. Um, we know that there are players on those platforms who might not necessarily have a PC, and so we will be looking at the unique challenges that we're going to be facing to bring it to those platforms, uh, whether that's you know extra testing from Sony and Microsoft, whether that's just being able to do some bug testing and make sure that the hardware is supported with the graphics drivers. We will be doing what we can to bring it to as many platforms as possible once we have a successful established player base on PC that we can rely on. It is just so much easier for us to roll out the alpha testing on PC through Steam. It is so much easier for us to get the game out in front of you guys with our weekly updates. We release a patch for Revan every Monday or sometimes on Tuesday, but there is a patch every week that goes out and it is so much easier to do that quick, fast response on PC than it would be on any other platform for us right now. The game is currently in its alpha state. They plan to hold an open beta at the end of this summer. We'll be releasing an open beta, hopefully at the end of the summer, to test our new dedicated servers that we are working on right now. Once we know those servers are ready, we'll begin selling our premium currency that can be used to purchase skins and abilities. If you're interested in helping to fund the project, they currently have an Indiegogo campaign. You can also donate directly via Twitch. 
So right now we're in the final week of crowdfunding on Indiegogo. We're going to be using that money combined with some of our personal savings to work on Revan full time this summer. Several of the dev team members, including myself, stream pretty regularly on Twitch, and so we accept personal donations through our Twitch pages and all that stuff, and that money also goes, goes towards helping us work uh, more hours on the game. Um, so that is another way that you can support us if uh, you want to do that. If you're looking for a whole new take on the MOBA genre, take a look at Revan. The unique amount of player customization means that very meaningful decisions start well before the game does. The ability to craft your own core defenses offers players with a wide variety of skill sets a chance to shine. One of the major differences between Revan and other MOBAs is our lack of heroes or character classes. We have a limitless system where a character can be anything, anyone that you want. Um, and I think that's one of the most amazing things about Revan that no other MOBA is doing. Something else that we're doing is we are sticking very true to having third-person shooter mechanics. Having a genuine third-person shooter experience is very, very important to us. So we want to make sure that you have things like reloading and sprinting and crouching and jumping and having different weapons that you can swap between and having um, just all of these general mechanics that you come to expect from a third-person shooter in 2020. Um, and those are mechanics that are at the core of what Revan is. Revan is a third-person shooter and a MOBA. At the same time, we are both of those genres, um, and we're not doing anything halfway for either of them. If you'd like to know more about Project Ambitious and Revan, take a look at the links provided in the description below, as well as in a pinned comment. For now, this is the Mangoo signing off. You guys, have a good one. Mangoo!